Are we ready? Yeah, we can put it on the top shelf up there in the name right down there. I checked both, the one that actually had the uh, lead-in and the one that didn't. When I machined them in the part level, neither one had a lead-in. I think there was a difference as to where it kind of started cutting that little hole, but like a few degrees. Cool. Yeah. Bit. So. Um, so I have to keep looking at it and find out why. Yeah. And what setting could possibly set this? My guess is the interpretation of the DXF first. So it's D, it would be a setting of the That's probably one of But that doesn't make sense either because the. Um, I got to think about that after I mentioned that. I thought, well, wait a minute. I, I would be able to try to reimport that part to my local and see what happens. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try machining it on my local and see if that does something. I don't know if that'll actually do something, but I try to see. I don't think it will either because I, I I think it might it, I remachine the one you give me. Yeah, and it didn't change it. So I, I don't think it'll actually do anything. So yeah, just reimporting it on the local seems like it'll do the other way. Yeah. I'll just finish that one up. size 13 boot print on all of
So what did your wife say about the hot tub? You awesome. Yeah. You didn't tell her where it's from? <laughs> well, I, did, I told her what area we got it from, where I got it from. But, uh, yeah, she, she thought it was all right. She didn't, uh, I was surprised. I figured she'd give me a bunch of shit about it. It's, the condition, you know, because it wasn't all nice and clean. You know what? I put some bleach on it, and hell, it's cleaning up and looking look nice. So. Yeah, yeah. Like I told her, I said, the reason why I, I said, you know, I said, I don't want to spend, I don't want to go out and buy it, spend as much money on a hot dog. If we don't use it, then we can either just get rid of it or throw the damn thing away or whatever. But that's, you know, yeah. We went up to, uh, you want to uh, that leisure, family leisure? Oh, yeah. Out there. That's not the most outrageous thing to me, all hell, man. The only thing I thought, okay, I'll pick up a filter here. Went back to a parts department. First, it was like, we went through the room. There wasn't one with air tunnels, so. I saw, I got the dimensions. And then the guy said, look, you had your dimensions, that's so I got the dimensions. I can get you know, make, make it out. We got some cool hours. See, packed up there. Hey, printed invoices. See, you pay for it up front. I start walking away. I look down to price of it, $45 for a filter. I said, no. Yeah. I turned right back. Well, first I hopped on the phone. The exact same filter I can get on Amazon for 20 bucks. Yeah. I, I went back. I said, man, I said, I don't need that filter for $45. Ooh. Yeah, give me two of them, and we got a deal. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 So, I did that with mine. Everything they had there was just fucking outrageous. I'm yeah. like, who pays this price? The place has been there for a while, too. I mean, I've never seen those commercials when I first moved out here. Yeah. Them and the meetings. That and the meetings. Yep. They're expensive, too. Man, I ain't giving that place, stuff. So, but, I, but all the new ones, they're, they're not, they don't have wood. Yeah. They're all, they're all material. Yeah, so it's not deposit. I know when I, when I kept that, uh, that humidifier put on my, my furnace, I started, I was buying the furnace, the, the, the filters from the uh, company that put it in. And I got looking at the prices of them. They're like 30, 30 bucks or something. Went down the same thing at Lowe's. For like twelve dollars. Like, Fuck that! I was gonna go back up there. I, you know, it's, it's one thing to get a fair prize. It's another just to rate people. Yeah, that's why I would go to East Hartford. Yeah. You know, they always say support your local businesses. Well, you know, a lot of people you know, support my local businesses. I'm grateful every time. You know? Yeah. So, I don't, I don't go in there. I hear you. Well, I figured, I figured cost wise, it's worth my while to run the little. I can actually save money. I can save, I save money by spending all the gas to go over there. Yeah, I'll finish 
clean it up. The only thing that concerned me was I was cleaning on it. And one of these little jet fronts, one of the small ones, I was scrubbing the scotch by I hit it, broke the front of it off. I guess I can glue it, I guess. Do you have the name of it? It's called a Balboa. And I don't have, I, I can't find what kind it is exactly. I'm sure there's one, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure there's one probably with two or three manufacturers. Yeah. <laughs> So usually something like that, if it's going to be on the on one of the panels. I yeah, I mean, for her, I, I, I didn't see it, but I don't know how hard it's going to be to replace it. Yeah, that's going to on how fun it is. Yeah, well, to get that, because, I mean, you got, it's got that wood skirting on it. I guess I'll have to pop the wood skirting off of it to get to it. Yeah, uh, makes sense. I mean, that's pretty much the way they're put together. Yeah. Right? Pretty much just assemble the whole thing. So, you know, you would have thought they'd have made it for the head access panels on the side where you could get Is the wood skirting screwed on? Or I think it's nailed, but I don't know. It might be. I, honestly, I don't look at that much. You would think it's something like that because it's got piping all the way around there. Yeah. I, was, I was surprised I went out there Saturday to unload it. And I was going to have Daryl help me try it, but he was sick, and I, he didn't like so he didn't stay all day <clears throat> helping move. It, so anyway, and it felt pretty heavy when we when we loaded it. But it had water. It had some water left in it, you know. But anyway, so I went to unload it, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to go get this guy. I sit there, looked at it, looked at it, looked at it, and I thought, well, I'll give it a try. So, so I'll take that little tractor. And as far as laying it down this way, I'll just raise the scoop up and I'll lower it back and I'll put, I'll put the top back against the scoop and then I'll just let it down the scoop. But to get it out of the truck, I was like, how am I going to do that without scarring it up and tearing it up, you know? So I ran away. So I pulled around back in the hard pile. I'm impatient. I'll be right there in a minute. I stood up here. I'm waiting. So I got off the truck, push on it. Hey, this ain't gonna be that heavy. So I, I, I just pushed out the back of the truck. Got out there. You know, I picked up one. Oh, I don't see so bad. So I picked up one, pulled it back, let it down, got it down easy. And then rolled it out of there. And then I did exactly that. I, I ran the scoop up, pushed it over against that scoop, put the scoop, let it right down. No biggie. Uh huh? No biggie then, huh? No, it wasn't no biggie at all. They caught them out. And then I was like, okay, hop up on there. And I, said, I just used a little tractor to shove it in place. Worked like, I just worked great. Just looked, I'd take some of the boards that I pulled off my wall over there, and laid it down, and put the sediment, for it to slide it, slid, slid it right in place, man. It was just, just the easy spot. Did you put it on the deck or something? It's on the concrete patio down, down in the deck. You'll we'll be able to get, uh, get electrical to it easy enough. They already had heat, which is not. <laughs> he, he had just just the cord like that. He had it coming out of the house. And one of the neighbors said they had a hot tub back there. But he had it marked on his, he had it marked on his breaker panel as compressor. So I don't know whether he had an air compressor out there or whatever. And yeah, he's, he's already, already got the wire right out there. As long as he's got a... Uh, heavy enough. It is. In service. Oh, yeah. It's all we need 50 amps. And he, he ran it. What's the number six? I think it's six. I think it's got number six. So, I mean, I don't need that heavy. Yeah. But I'll use it. But anyway, and it come with, it's got the breaker box. It's got a little breaker box. And it's got seal type. Where the wire was the seal type. Whoever did it did it right. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to it back up and I'm actually going to, where it comes out of the house, I'm going to cut it back to there. That way I won't have exposed unshielded wire yeah. on the outside of the house. So you're going to connect inside the house with a box, a junction box in the house. You no, know, that's funny. Right. When the inspector, I, I pointed that out when the inspector for us. I mean, I he goes, well, it's dead. It's dead. I'm thinking, it's only dead if it breaks. <laughs> Just because you throw your thing up there and it's dead, you call that good? Yeah. 
I mean, that's just like around here with the, with the yeah. lockdown safety. So oh, yeah. the same thing there. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you, you're going to call that good? Somebody goes and hits that. This must be the stove <laughs> for the furnace and, and hit that breaker on. Fortunately, I found out later that he had to, it's unhooked from the breaker. It's not hooked up to the breaker field. But still, that inspector did. Yeah, at the time. Yeah. He, he, he should have researched it that far, but he didn't. Yeah, and he, you said he was pretty tight on everything else. Yeah, yeah. So that that kind of surprised me. I just I just feared that he would would have checked into that further, but he just checked it to make sure what the hell was on it. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> I don't even if I, remember, I, don't, I don't even know where the, the I don't even know where the wires are even taped off or capped off. I think they're bare. Up in where, where they're hanging outside, or where, in, no, where they're hanging outside. Yeah. Well, the way from what you tell me about the rest of that place, they're probably bare. <laughs>